Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey? Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the Black Rock Depths Lava Skip in World of Warcraft Classic. Now, you're going to need two things, or one of two things. You're going to need a rogue that can lockpick the gates, or you need someone with the Shadow Forge key. It's a fairly easy key to get. You just do it from doing a quest in Black Rock Depths. Almost everyone should have it right now. Anyways, once you start the dungeon, you're going to head over immediately to the left. Pick the first gate on your left. Now, there, if you're soloing this, there is a fire guard there. Try not to pull him if you do. If you're 60 with even decent gear, you can solo him pretty easily. Once you're there, oh, go ahead and open up that second gate there. From there, head over to the east garrison door and open that. This is going to head, start heading you towards kind of the arena to the right. And if you keep going straight down there, which is where you want to go, the heads towards General Anger Forge. Now, again, most of these mobs, if, assuming you're doing this at 60, especially solo, you could kind of stealth bodies. Or if you're in a group, you could just kill them. Hop out this window immediately to your right, jump down there. Now that pack there can sometimes be right below you. If you're in a group, it's no big deal. Just if you're doing a stealth run, and as a rogue or a druid, just be careful you don't jump directly into them because they can still see you. Anyways, you're gonna keep going down this hallway until you eventually get over to Lord Incendius. And then from here, this is where you actually begin the lava skip. Now, once you're there, go to your left. I kind of jump as far as I can. Just jump down to the lava and immediately hug the left wall. And essentially, you're going to be following this wall until you get to your first, basically the biggest and hardest part for the lava jump. Now, the way this works, for every second you're in lava, I believe it's one second, you take a tick of damage. And if you, I believe this is how it works, if you jump as that tick happens, you won't take any damage. Now, listen, if you don't understand what I just said or don't know what I just said or have no idea how this works, guys, listen, neither do I. So it's okay. Essentially, all what you're going to do, as soon as you jump towards lava, just hit the shit out of the space bar. Just spam, spam, spam it. Essentially, you're just going to keep spamming jump. Now, keep hugging left until you eventually get to this little like cliff lip here. Make sure you top yourself off if you take any damage. I try and go as high as I can, and then once you're here, just jump right into the lava. Now, if you have any speed boost, I forgot that you sprint here, use those here as this is the longest jump. Now, also watch out for that fire guard destroyer in the lava. If you pull him, especially if you lose solo, you're gonna have a bad time and probably die. Now, again, guys, nine out of 10 times, as long as you spam the shit out of your space bar, you see here, I came close to dying. As long as you keep spamming jump and don't for one second miss it, you're fine. Once you're at the first checkpoint, you're gonna head to the left, go careful to pull those fire guard destroyers, just hug the left, and keep going straight, and eventually you're gonna get right under that bridge on the lip here, and pretty much you get to this point, safe and sound, you completed the lava jump. That's essentially it. Now, what this allows you to do, especially if you're doing the solo, if you go over here and say, by the way, if you go right there, that leads you to the, uh, what's it, the Lyceum, that leads you to uh, Anger Forge, and then, not Anger Forge, what's his face? Thursday, the Emperor. But, or you could just go where I am here. If you're doing this solo again as a rogue or as a stealth run, you could do another mini lava jump here. Just keep jumping until you get all the way across. And where this is going to bring you, you can see there's going to be three fire guard destroyers here. You should be able to stealth by either track just in case. And right there is the entrance to Molten Core in the dungeon. And then also right by the entrance is the core fragment. So again, rogues and druids can actually solo this. Just as a druid, you will need the Shadow Forge key to open those locks. Now, if you're doing this as a group and you also maybe you just don't want the core fragment, you want to skip the Emperor of Thursday, essentially, instead of going towards the, the Molten Core entrance, you're going to go straight here. Now, if you keep going straight here up this ramp to the left would be where the seven dwarves are. The seven, that's where you fight them. That door will be locked. However, you could also just make a right here, right turn here, and that will lead you to the Lyceum. You clear that room, you clear the big rock giant, bleh, giant outside of Emperor Thursday's room, and then you're outside the Emperor Thursday. Essentially, that is the entire lava skip, guys. And the reason why you want to do this is a quick way to finish your Molten Core Attunement. Also, if you just want to farm out Emperor Thurazine for Iron Foam, maybe. Maybe if you have pre raid Bisque, like the Rogue Boots, or just the Blether Boots for Rogues, uh, from Princess, whatever her name is, Bronzebeard. And um, this is basically just a quick way to repeat farm this. And that's pretty much it, guys. Again, in the lava, just keep spamming that space bar and you'll be... Per 9 out of 10 times will be fine. Sometimes you die, guess what? You release, you run back, you do it again. Anyways, guys, I hope this guide helped you. It helped me a lot, farming all these guys out. By the way, this is off the post of BlizzCon, so I got a lot of energy right now. That Shadowlands announcement, oh, I'm actually excited to play the live game again, especially with less RNG, if that's the way they're going, because it looks like it. Anyways, guys, I hope this guide helped you. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I love you all. Oh, and also, Halo 3 is the best Halo. Just make sure that's clear. Bye-bye.